Thank you for looking at this demonstration of TestWave by Automation Consultants. TestWave is a full-service, affordable test management tool that is delivered via the cloud and liberates the user from expensive servers and databases and complex installation. What does TestWave do? IT projects of any size require many hundreds of tests, tests on new functionality and regression tests to make sure that existing functionality continues to work as expected. Managing these tests with spreadsheets and word processor documents, especially with large test teams or test teams working from different geographical locations, can be difficult and time-consuming and lead to error. TestWave can solve these problems. It is a full-featured test management tool that stores all test data in a single place, including scripts, results and defects. This allows all team members to view the data in real time. TestWave is also intuitive and easy to use. Although accessed via the internet, TestWave looks and feels like a desktop application, making it intuitive and easy to use compared to applications based on web pages. TestWave is also designed to make test management as easy as possible. It facilitates test management in a number of ways. One of the main ways is by the set of TestWave dashboards. There is an overview dashboard giving summary information on the current state of tests defects, requirements and releases, and a dashboard giving more detail in each of these areas. Here we take a quick look at the dashboards for releases, requirements, tests and defects. TestWave is quick to deploy because it is delivered online. There is no need for servers, databases or special software. New accounts can be set up within hours of an order or trial being placed. TestWave is affordable. It is paid for by a modest monthly subscription per user. This flexible model, together with the savings made on servers and software, make TestWave much less costly than other commercial solutions. What are the key features of TestWave? The first is that it stores test scripts. Test scripts are stored as a series of test steps. Steps can be typed or pasted in from a spreadsheet. Here we see a new step being added to a script. Each step consists of an instruction to be performed on the system under test and one or more expected results. Update reasons can be logged and if desired related to a defect. Updates are stored in the test history. Once some test scripts have been stored, TestWave will record test execution and results. Tests are grouped into test sets for execution. The test set shows the latest results of each test and clicking on the test shows the run history. On performing a new test execution, the TestWave screen is reduced to a small size to leave maximum space for the application under test. Each test step is presented in turn and the tester carries out the instruction of the step on the system under test. If the actual result of the instruction matches the expected result, the tester marks the step as having passed. If not, the step is marked as a fail. Screenshots or other files can be attached to the step. For failed steps, a defect can be raised. The defect window is pre-populated with the details of the test and the step. At the end of the test, if all steps passed, the test itself is recorded as having passed. If not, its status is set to fail. After test execution, it is possible to review the results of previous tests and test steps and to view any screenshots or other files attached to the steps at the time of execution. In this way, a complete record is kept of every test run. Whether encountered during test execution or elsewhere, TestWave tracks defects, allowing the whole test team to keep up to date on defect progress and contribute to defect resolution where appropriate. The defect module shows a list of all the defects raised in the current project. The list can be filtered to show only the defects that fit the desired criteria and to show only the desired fields. Clicking on a defect in the list causes the defect's details to be shown in the bottom half of the screen. The details consist of fields containing information about the defect. Custom fields can be added to reflect the user's working practices and rules can be put in place to make fields compulsory or restrict the users who are allowed to update them. Below the defect details are the comments. The comments act as a kind of forum for fixing the defect. Here we see a comment being added. Problems encountered and suggested solutions can be logged by anyone with access to the project and are instantly visible to all. Screenshots and files may be attached to the defect. 
Here we see a screenshot being pasted in directly from the clipboard, being given a name and being attached to the defect. The defect may also be linked to other test assets such as test designs, test sets, requirements and releases. Here we see the defect being linked to a requirement. To ensure the completeness of testing, TestWave maps tests onto requirements and releases. This ensures that every requirement has a test and shows the progress of testing for each release. This simple case shows the mapping of a previously passed test onto a new requirement and a release. First we create a requirement called Help. At first the new requirement's tree icon and coverage status are shown in red, meaning not covered. Associating a test to the requirement turns the coverage green. Now we go to the Releases module, select a release, and associate the test set containing our tests with the release. Moving to the Releases Progress tab, we now see the new requirement listed and in Pass status, indicating that the tests associated with that requirement have all passed. Returning to the requirements, we see that the release is now listed among the associated releases and that its progress is shown as passed. This means all the tests associated with the requirement in that release have passed. Thank you for watching this brief demo of TestWave. To find out more or book a 30-day free trial, please email us at the address below or visit our website.